Hello students. Today we will see some example programs using files. Last session we have seen the basics of files, usages of files, various functions related to the usages of files, various syntaxes of uh, different file handling functions that is used in C. Now let us see some of the examples and its logic, how they can be implemented by using the language C. Okay. Now first program will be like a program to display the content of a file. Just read the content and display. Okay. So we will start the program. So, so first program will be uh, explained in detail. So uh, normal STDI order. So we are not going to use any, any other functions. We require only the functions from STDI address within the main. First point is file star of p, a file pointer will be declared because this is the file pointer that is used to point to a file. Then I am declaring a character variable, so I will be reading the characters from the file and that will be displayed. Okay, so read. So we are ha I am having a file and it consists of some contents so already i am having a file called as f1.txt or whatever be the name of file that is already there read the contents and just display in our output console that is our expectation so next statement will be like opening a file like fp is equal to this file point is equal to f open of test.txt this is the name of the file so here it is f if it is f1 dot text i can write it f1 dot text comma in read mode semicolon so a file pointer is being declared that file pointer is pointing to this file test dot txt okay then we are using a loop to read the content of that file while file feof of fp is equal to equal to zero what is feof that is for checking the end of file whether it is reaching at the end of file so this is usually used as the termination condition when we are reading the content from the files when it reaches the end of file we can exit from the uh, exit because we want to read the entire contents of files up to the last point so when it reaches this last pointer we can terminate from the loop so we need to have a loop for reading content one by one okay so while feof of fp if the file end of file fp is equal to equal to zero i have already mentioned in the previous session that if feof is returning zero means it is not the end of file it is in between that means it is the file pointer is uh, within the content of that particular file when it is returning a non-zero value that indicates it is already reached at the end of the file so if it is so first point if you are having a content here it will return a zero means it is not the end of file that means it will enter into the loop then what it is doing ch ch is already being declared is equal to f get c f get c is used to read a character f get c of fp so file pointer is at the first point that will be reading that character will be taken and that is added into the character variable ch then print of person c character so that c that that character will be printed in the output console then it will go for next iteration again the file pointer will be moving towards the next two point while feof of fp it is also not the end of file so it will return zero it will enter it will read the character and that is assigned to ch then it will be printing that character also the so second character will be printed Similarly, it will print all the characters into the into the output console until it reaches the end of file. When it reaches end of file, what will happen? While f of fp is equal to equal to zero, no, it will return a non-zero value. Okay, when it falls, it will go out of the file. So after reading up to the end of file, it will read out the characters and all the characters will be displayed on the output console for display then after coming out of the loop f close of fp the file is being closed and the program is being ended so only we are having an existing file with some contents from there we need to read all the characters and display in the output console okay we'll see one example 
one example hello welcome to c programming let's say this is the content of that text file the output will be displayed in the console the same uh, characters will be displayed in the output console when we are executing the program okay so remember this file must be available already when we are opening that file in read mode if that file is not available it will return an error because the file is not actually existing okay now the next program will be like a program to count the number of vowels in a given file how many vowels vowels means a e i o u so if you are having a file with some contents if you are having a file with some contents with some characters or with some contents so check each and every characters and return or take the count okay when it reaches a when it reaches e when it reaches i just get the count or we need to increment the count accordingly when we find out some vowels present in a file okay it is almost similar to the previous one only thing is we need to have some comparison when we read each characters from the file okay so inside the main file star fpl 5.3 is being created a character variable then i am setting a count variable count v initial value is set as zero because from zero i need to increment the value of count variable whenever we find a vowel within this file okay then fp is equal to f open of test.txt that is in read mode so this is being open that is in read mode then i am checking while if you if fp is equal to equal to zero that is a similar condition because i need to enter into the file and read the contents read character by character when it is equal to zero okay then it will enter inside it will read the first character character is equal to f get c of fp first character is assigned to character ch variable then i am checking if ch is equal to small letter a or ch is equal to capital a or ch is equal to small e or ch is equal to capital e or ch is equal to capital i ch is equal to small i or ch is equal to capital o small o ch is equal to u small u if any of these characters means they are vowels okay what we are doing count v plus plus so zero will be incremented to one okay so this is happening to so say first for first character after reading the first character that character will be compared with these characters if any of these characters the count will be incremented okay so that is the logic that is being added into this program then what will happen so next iteration what will happen next iteration what will happen next iteration again it will read next character then check then again if that is any of these characters count will be incremented once again and the same steps will be repeated until it reaches a non zero value of fui function then it will come out of the loop and it will print the value of count variable that will return the total number of counts in this i mean total number of counts of vowels in this particular file okay then we have done f close of fp okay we'll see one example an example where a hello welcome to c programming lectures count of vowels is equal to 12 so totally we are having uh, e o e o e o o e i e u e so totally we are having 12 vowels present in so one by one character compare those characters if it is equal increment next iteration next character compare increment accordingly so we'll be getting the total count of 12 okay so it is the enhancement of the previous program where we are doing one additional comparison also according to the comparison we are doing one more operation that is taking the count of vowels so similar logics can be applied uh, different logics uh, can be applied on uh, so different type of characters can be identified by using the same logic okay now the next program is a program to copy the content of file to another so just take the content of one file content of one file take the content of one file file 
and file 2 okay so take the content of file 1 copy that into file 2 take the content one by one move that into file 2 that is our operation okay so here we are using two files so i require two file pointers because i require two files okay then i am having character variable f1 first one is used for reading this is used for reading from here we will read and copy that into file 2 that is our a second file f2 is open in write mode so first file is test.txt second file is copy.txt then we are applying the same while loop while f u f of f1 is equal to equal to 0 ch is equal to f get c of f1 first character of this file first file will be taken into ch variable then f put c we are using another function that i have already mentioned in the previous session f put c of character the first character of this s1 will be printed f put c that is written into which one f2 it will be written here then next iteration next character of f1 read that into ch write that into f2 so one by one character take and f put c into f2 so all the characters from f1 will be uh, taken into ch variable and that will be written into f2 second file when it reaches end of file of the f1 it will terminate from the loop then i am simply printing successfully copy then f close of f1 this will be closed and f close of f2 this file will also be closed okay this is also a very simple syntax one by one character we are moving into another file so we are using one more function here f put c okay so uh, you see one example hello welcome to c programming lectures that is the content of test.txt so output will be like successfully copied a printed message then we will open the copy.txt file into which this content is being added so initially it was not there now it is being added into the second file copy.txt that is taken from the first file test.txt okay then another program program to merge the content of two files to merge the content of two files so we are having two files f1 and f2 f1 and f2 and these two will be merged together and that is being added into f3 that is our logic take all the contents of f1 into which all the contents of f2 will be merged and this entire content will be present in f3 that is our logic okay so here we require three file pointers f1 for the first one second one and third one then a character variable f1 first one is open in read mode then f2 is open in write mode i mean again it is for because first read these contents then these from f2 also i need to read okay then we need to merge these two that is our a okay then we are having a third file to which we are going to write okay so take the contents from f1 write into f3 then take the contents from f2 write into f3 that is our a okay first you write the entire thing of f1 then you write entire thing of f2 into this file that means merging okay so first of all we'll uh, start with f1 while f u f of f1 is equal to equal to zero the same uh, while loop blender it will read the first character then it will be written into f3 first character from f1 will be taken uh, written into f3 second iteration second character will be returned to f3 similarly this loop will be continued until this value becomes non-zero that means the entire f1 is being added into f3 okay just after that it will come out of the first loop again i am starting another loop where file fuif y fuif of f2 is equal to equal to zero from there so here f3 file pointer is here f2 file pointer here it will start reading the characters first character of f2 that will be added into this point the next pointer of f3 because again i am going to write into f3 f3 already written f1 from here to here now file pointer of f3 is here 
now again if i write some content taken from f2 and into f3 it will be added in this location okay f put c of character comma f3 then this will also be repeated until this will reach the end of file then after that it will be having f3 will be having the f1 contents along with that it will be having the f2 contents okay then first while loop second while loop then this printed successfully merged then the main end an example the content of file 1 hello welcome to c programming lecture is content of file 2 c is very easy to learn then the third will be having hello welcome to c programming lecture is continue to that c is very easy to learn the text will be appended the third file when we open the third file the content of first and second file will be merged okay so that is another logic then we will see one more example a program to read numbers from a file and display the largest number to read the contents from the file and display the largest number so we are having some numbers present in a file and i need to find out the largest among that okay so a file our file consists of some numbers like 5 6 7 etc etc assume that we are having some numbers there in the file okay so number by number we read and find the largest okay so finding the largest among a given number numbers we already know the logic we will apply the same logic now only thing is we are going to read the numbers from the file that's all okay so file star f1 so this is f1 that points to this file i am declaring two variables large and num you will see that f1 is equal to that file is open a number uh, the file name is given as number.txt in read mode this file is opened in read mode then what i am doing is for reading a number okay so i cannot read it as a character because it can be a two digit number or three digit three digit number we don't know that so up to that phase i mean space i need to read the number so i am using f scan of f scan of f1 comma percentage d ampersand large that means from the file point f1 it will scan the first number and that is assigned to the variable large that is the main setting the first element as largest element means 5 is assigned to the variable large that is happening with this statement okay read the first number and that is assigned to the variable large f scan of so next time when i do f scan of it will read the next number okay so now it is being assigned to largest like in our normal logic the first number will be assigned as largest or large okay then we are comparing with the next one if that is large the large will be replaced the same logic we are applying here also then while if you of f1 is equal to equal to zero that means it does not reach us the end of file what we are doing we are reading the next number f scan again i am reading f scan of f1 comma percent ampersand number that means the ne next number will be taken and that is assigned to the variable now six is assigned to the variable now then if large less than num what is large large is five what is num num is six if large less than num it is true here right now the value of large is assigned to mean the value of num this is assigned to large now large will become 6 okay now the same process will be repeated it will be repeated again it will check end of file now it will read the next number it means to read 7 now 7 is assigned to num now if large less than num large is 6 6 less than num 7 that is also true what will happen that 7 will be assigned to the large variable okay again it will check now it will reach us the end of file it will exit from the while it will go out then f close f1 file will be closed the numbers are being compared and the last value of large will be returned here large will be having the value 7 that indicates the largest among the set of numbers available in the file so here we have seen the usage of scanf f scanf 
okay so reading numbers or sometimes you will see some other example where we are reading string also okay so single characters can be read by using uh, f get c or f put c for writing but uh, reading numbers with more than one digits we can use a scan of writing digits or string with more than one digits more than one characters we can use uh, f printf okay now you see that sample means the result of that program this is the content of number.txt file we are having some numbers already there in the file and it will return the largest number as 78 among these set of numbers okay we will see another program consider you are a content writer in wikipedia you are the person who write the known facts about apj abdul kalam after his death you need to change all e's to was so already there was some contents available within wikipedia when he was alive everything was written like is is right so when uh, automatically when after his death is all the e's to be converted into was so write a program to replace all e's to was to a new file okay so we are having one file where we are having the contents about apj abdul kalam is already there that file convert all the e's to was and write into another file as a separate document okay that is our a so we are having two files from file one we need to write the contents into file two only thing is when we write into file two uh, the content uh, e's must be replaced with was that's all okay so here we are using one more header file string dot s we are using some string handling function also here so file star f1 comma star f2 two file pointers then I, I am declaring a string character string array with size 30 maximum size so f1 is open in read mode that is the first two file f1 then f2 is open that is in write mode to which we are going to write f2 second file to which we are going to write the content okay now f scan of 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 F1 comma from this file percentages I need to read a string comma str so it will read the first word percentages means up to by using scan of up to space it will read the word and that is assigned to str variable that is already being declared it is a string array okay then we are checking so with str we are having the first word now we are checking while f u f f1 is equal to equal to zero now again we are having some more character or words available so what we are doing enter into that file if str cmp if str cmp of str means that the first word comma it is compared with the character is i mean the string is compare the first word with is if it is equal to equal to zero forcing string comparison we are having uh, three options we are checking equality by using zero equal to equal to zero okay then if it is equal to equal to zero means both are equal okay that means the taken data from f1 is is if it is is f print of f2 into f2 i will write was so if the first word was is here it will be written into the second as was if it was is otherwise what will do if it was not is what will do if print of the same string will be written here the same string will be written here if it is is it will write was here if it is not is it will write the same string into f2 okay so the same thing will be continued until it reaches the end of file of f1 it will repeat the same so during this process all the is will be replaced with was all other words will be written directly into the second file understood the same logic can be applied for various 
situations we want to replace some words some particular word some particular pattern word with some other word uh, anything can be done by using the same logic okay then when it reaches the end of f1 it will go out f close f1 f corner f close f2 then i am simply printing replace string successfully okay then another program a program to reverse each content of file to another reverse the content of file to another so just reverse the content of one file and that is being written into another file okay that is the next logic so first thing we are having a string dot h also being included here now uh, file star f1 star f2 then i am having two string variables i mean character string array one is str and second one is reverse so we will be reversing the content okay we will be reversing the content so i am having a second string also then i am having two variables we will see that because we are using some loop here so first file is open in read mode so from the first file we are going to read the contents and into the second file we are going to write but read each content write into second but in reverse order that is our aim so second file is open in write mode new dot txt so while f u f f1 is equal to equal to zero what we are doing so first f scan of f1 comma percentage s t r first string will be taken okay first string will be taken and that is assigned to s t r then i am using a loop for i equal to s t r ln of s t r minus 1 it will take the length okay it will take the length of that string minus 1 it is for uh, because it is a string array 0 to that index only that is why str ln of str minus 1 ok from the last point to 0 from that last point to 0 you have already seen this logic before while uh, explaining uh, the string reverse the same logic only we are applying only thing is we are taking the string from the file i minus minus into the second string we are assigning the first string str of i str of i means the last location of this one is assigned to the second string rev of i into the first location of the second string ok so this will be assigned to the first location then j plus plus it will go to this location automatically here in the i loop i minus minus so this character will be added into this j now again j will be incremented this character will be assigned here then again j will be incremented this character will be assigned to this one. so this is in reverse order ok so word by word reverse order we are taking and now that is to be added into the second file ok so string reverse is being done then after the entire reverse of that particular string will assign slash 0 to conclude that then i am doing doing f print of f2 that string will be printed into the second file f2 rev will be printed into the second file okay the same will be repeated for next one next word next string will be taken again for that string the string will be reversed and uh, ended with a slash zero and the next one will be added into second file again this will be repeated next string reverse print into second file until the first file reaches the end of file it will remain the or continue the same thing then it will come out of the loop then close f1 close f2 this is the logic for reversing each content each string of a file and print that into the second file in the reverse format
one example is given welcome to C programming so content of new dot text will be like the reverse so first one will be reversed then second will be reversed then third will be uh, C this is only a single word the same thing then the third one this is the result the next program program to copy the content of a file to another in reverse order we are using the entire content so here in the previous example word by word we are doing reverse and that is copied into the next file now in this case we are going to uh, reverse the entire content and that is being copied into the second file okay so here we are using some more uh, advanced functions that is used with file handling in C so we will see that so uh, two file pointers because from first to file we need to take the data and that is to be written into second file in reverse order okay we are using some variables like count to count the total number of characters then we are having begin and end two more variables of integer type we are having two character variables also ch and i you will see that first file test.txt for f1 that is opened in read mode this is read mode f1 then f2 is opened in write mode into f2 we are going to write the content from f2 okay then the first operation this operation is actually used to get the total count of characters within the file total count of characters within the file okay so i'm setting begin f so uh, let us see f tell of f1 f tell of f1 means it will tell the position of file pointer f1 so first time it will be at the begin so automatically i am simply assigning that into a variable begin okay then i am doing f seek if seek means i need to move the file pointer into another location if seek of it so self same file pointer i will move the position into secant this position is the secant okay from there from there i want to place the file pointer okay minus 1 from the last two point into minus one means one location here minus one one location before because this is the offset if this is the end point minus one if this is start point this offset can be plus plus if this is the uh, position offset will be in the left side that means in minus numbers okay then after setting the file point at the last location then again taking f tell of f1 that is the current location of f1 that is at the end right that is assigned to end so we are getting the file pointer of f1 into begin then move file pointer into last and that is assigned to end then i am getting the count as end minus begin from the end to begin we are taking it will actually provide the uh, total number of characters between the file pointer beginning and file pointer end okay so it won't be this position if the content is only up to this this will be the last point from there minus 1 okay so, so it will count the total number of characters so we are getting the entire number of characters into the variable count so we will print the count of characters as count okay so now the logic is written like copy the content of file in reverse so the entire content of file f1 will be copied into f2 but in reverse order just think from here to here start from here we need to write each characters into f2 so that is our logic so i is equal to minus 1 so we are starting from minus 1 i we, why we are setting minus 1 we will see while count not equal to minus 1 while count not equal to minus 1 means we have already calculated the count ok we will be having some count means uh, either we are having zero count or more that's why we are checking whether it is not minus 1 so last it will be reaching uh, 
minus 1. So if it is not equal to minus 1, we can enter into the, uh, so because when it reaches the last, it will be 0, right? So that is why if it is not equal to minus 1, we can start entering into the loop. Read the character, ch is equal to fgc of f1. So where is f1 now? f1 is actually at the end point, end of the file last position read that then write that into f2 f could see then i minus minus means minus 1 minus 1 means minus 2 one more position left f seek move the pointer into that i the location from seek end okay then count minus minus count will be decremented already we are having the total count available count will be decremented so next iteration not equal to minus 1 okay again that uh, previous means if this is the file this character is being taken already then minus 1 here it will reach this character will be taken and that is printed into second file again my i minus minus will become minus 3 okay then it will set the file pointer here then count minus minus okay so we are doing the same process until it reaches count until if uh, the count is not equal to minus 1 when it is equal to minus 1 means when count reaches 0 minus minus this will reach minus 1 so that time it will exit from the loop and it will go so from the last point to the first point character by character that will be written into so this will be written here this will be written here this will be written here so similarly or the entire content of the first file will be written in reverse order into the second file previous example word by word we are reversing and copying into another file but here the entire content of the file will be uh, reversed and that is written into the second file okay so here we are using ftl fseek then other functions like fbc and fputc for uh, uh, reading as well as writing single characters into uh, different files okay then f close f1 f close f2 so that is the logic uh, for uh, writing the entire content in reverse order into another file the next program is to count the number of words and lines in a file total number of words and total number of lines in a file so how we can separate words by looking at the space how we can separate lines by looking at the slash okay now let us see we are using string dot s here also other than studio dot s so we are having two file pointers two file pointers now we are having count word one variable initially set as zero count line initially set as zero and the character variable now f1 first file is open read mode first file is opening read mode so uh, uh, in this example actually uh, we don't require a second file pointer sorry so we require only one file for because we are having only one file we just need to find out the number of words and uh, number of lines okay so uh, first of all only one file that is open in read mode then that file until it reaches the end of file it will read each character then what i am checking if character equal to equal to single quotes this one actually indicates space if it is space it will increment count word plus plus first this will be incremented okay otherwise what will do if character is equal to slash n the number of lines count line will also be incremented okay so some contents are there in the first file maybe uh, words are there then after three words it will enter into next line then it is having some four words it will enter into next line then we again I'm having four words enter. So whenever it reaches space, it will count the number of words. When it reaches slash, then it will uh, increment the number of 
lines so that finally we'll get when we exit from this while loop after reaching the end of file it will actually read the total number of words as well as the total number of lines okay so the number of words will be printed as count w and number of uh, lines count of lines are printed in the form of count i okay so both situation we are doing incrementing both variables count w and count l for incrementing or for uh, getting the number of words and number of lines okay you can check this program you can work on any editor any uh, online editor and you can uh, see the results okay an example is given welcome to c programming c is very easy to learn the number of words and number of lines are given okay so depending on the number of lines if you want to read the number of counts of words or all of all the lines that can also be done this is only a simple format you can change the logic into get the number of words of each line or the total number of lines etc etc the logic will be in different ways so here it is counting the number of words in only the first uh, sentence and then it is counting the total number of lines the logic will be varying the next program the program to append some data to all the existing file an example with append we have not seen any example with append operation so it's a very simple example uh, file file pointer f1 one string is being declared file is opened in append mode assume that we are already having a file test.txt with some content that's all. then i am simply uh, uh, entering enter a string get us str just read a string what i am doing f printf f1 comma percent this str so into same file pointer so here it will be printing that into the next file pointer it is actually or because why it is possible because the file is opened in append mode so it will be printed into the next portion okay then file is being closed so this is not possible if it is open in read mode because read mode it will start reading from the first mode a right mode it will start with the first position only if something is there it will be truncated and it will start writing from the beginning of the file but if it is in append mode we can continue with writing into the same existing file that is actually the purpose of append okay then one more program A program to display content of file two times without closing the file just for displaying the content of file two times without closing the file let's see okay a different example we are having a file point fp cat and the file is open in read mode while file end of file of fp not equal to equal to zero read the character and print the character okay so we'll read uh, just take the uh, read the content of the same file without closing so after closing means it will stopping all the operations related to that file the question indicates read the content of file then uh, without closing again you start reading from the begin that is only purpose just for uh, remembering one more function usage of one more function that is used in c okay so it not a regular usage but just for finding the usage of that particular function we are using this uh, program okay so uh, till end of file we'll read the character and print in the output console okay so it lets it from that loop when it reaches end of file then what i am doing i am not going to close the file i am simply writing rewind of fp means what will happen the file uh, its content is being taken and that is being printed then after reaching the end of file we are i am not closing i am simply writing rewind of fp means it will go to the initial point once again so now again fp is here what i am doing next again i am opening the loop while if your fp is equal to equal to zero again i will read the same process character by character i will print into the out console so two times we are reading from the same file and that is being printed 
I am not going to close in between. So finally, after so at any number of times we can read the content from the same file by using rewind operation. Any number of times we can read the content, and finally, the file is being closed. Okay. Now, assembly is given like "Hello, welcome to C programming." So that is being written into so two times. Means file is already there. Two times the contents are being displayed from the same file. Okay. Now one more example that is an example related to structure. Normally, structure record data are written in uh, binary formats. So here in this example, we will see the usage of F read and F write, uh, the reading and writing of binary data uh, into files. Okay, program to read the details of n employees with following fields like name, employee ID, and salary, and write so read these details just like a normal. If you, we, uh, you know these records are actually like uh, uh, means the usage of structures. You need to use structures here, and write those information record information into a file. Then read details from file and display the name of employee who has got highest salary. Okay, so. Uh, just like a normal structure operation but we need to copy those records into a file and from the file read the details and display the person or the employees with the order of salary okay highest salary should come first that is the uh, uh, expectation of this particular program so we'll see uh, so uh, I hope that all of you are familiar with the usages of structure right so first of all let us see uh, how to create a structure employee struct employee with name employee id and salary just like normal structure variable ended with the semicolon then within the main program within the main program i will be declaring a file pointer because i require a file pointer for uh, writing the records into the file because records are being created by normal C program by using structure operations then those details to be written into a file okay so uh, I am declaring a structure variable struct employee e of 10 struct employee e of 10 so I am declaring an array of structures so 10 employees I need to uh, uh, keep okay then i am declaring one more structure variable res and i am declaring one more structure variable temp when we are doing uh, the comparison means to find out the order the order because we need to have some sorting there we are using a temporary structure also we are also using a result structure also we will see that two variables as we wish then the file is open employee dot that that file is open in write mode then print of enter the limit I am re I'll be reading uh, a number of uh, records required then enter the details of employee it's like normal structure program here we are not mentioning any file in the initial point but finally when we write this into the file we are using the file operation okay so for i equal to 0 i less than an a plus plus Print of name, scan of percentage. So we are reading the details of each employees. Name, scan of percentages, EA dot name. Normal structure reading name of first employee, employee ID of first employee, salary of first employee. Then after reading the first employee details, what I am doing is I am going to write f write of f writes in that first one the address of data that means ampersand of ei ampersand of ei means that particular employee 0th employee comma size of ei size of that data comma how many data one employee data so one comma file pointer file pointer is to which file we are going to write so these details should be written into the file in binary format next iteration again next name 
next employee id salary that address size of that one employee data into file pointer that will be returned the same process will be repeated until it reaches the total number of employees that is up to n okay then the file is being closed so all the details are being written into the file all the employee records are being written into the file now after that we need to take those data and we need to go for a sorting right so in the uh, next step what we are doing is we are, we are uh, just see it is not like uh, see now again the same file is open in read mode same file is open in read mode then i am setting res dot salary is equal to minus 1.0 that is temporarily i am setting res res is also uh, a result type result means it is also of structure type dot salary is equal to minus 1.0 we are simply setting an initial value for result salary okay just a, a value I, just like uh, is equal to 0 i am setting minus 1.0 so while fuif of fp is equal to equal to 0 what we are doing from that file we are already having some records right f read of ampersand temp f read of ampersand temp comma size of temp comma 1 comma fp so first structure record will be taken into um, temporary structure variable then its size then one record file point to this file point okay then what i am doing if res dot salary that is already given an initial value is less than temp dot salary that is currently being taken what i am doing that temp is assigned to risk this salary is assigned to this res dot salary that into that temporary structure salary okay then the same thing will be repeated next record again that will be taken taken from the file of reading now it is assigned to temp then its salary will be compared with previous salary if that is greater that will be assigned okay so this is actually uh, uh, not for printing in uh, sorted order it is for just for getting the highest salary that is why we are not going to do any sorting here just for getting the highest salary employee details so every record will be taken by using a freed operation and there the salary of that employee will be compared with the existing salary that is already stored here okay now finally what is there with the result salary res store salary that will be printed as the employee with the highest salary that the res is also of structure type so that res dot name will be displayed as the person with the highest salary that structure that name will be displayed okay so only the name need to be displayed right in the question it is given that uh, uh, name of employee who has the highest salary so only the name of that employee will be displayed okay so the output will be like enter the limit to enter the limit of employee name uh, employee ID salary then second employee employee ID salary then the employee with highest salary is actually here in this case it is Parvati. that name is being displayed okay so here this is example is all, all the structure concept is familiar this example is only for considering a free and a freight a free for reading record data from the binary format a freight is for writing the records into binary format into a binary file okay so a free as well as a free, usage of a free and a freight normally records are written into file by using a freight records are scanned or read by using uh, what do you say a freed so a freed and a freight they are used with uh, 
especially they are used with when we are uh, writing or reading the uh, record data using structures. So we have seen a number of programs uh, that are related with file handling. A uh, lot more programs can also be uh, experimented. We can work on these programs with various other logics also. So uh, always these file programs are very useful in programming. Uh, when we are dealing with very uh, means uh, application level programs because there we cannot uh, temporarily stop when we execute a program and complete that we need the intermediate result for further operations so always we need to maintain that in a file and we need to read the contents from the file and do further processing for any future usages so uh, that's it for now uh, uh, next uh, sessions we will see uh, uh, for some more uh, uh, related programming topics. Okay, thank you.